Hi, ya beautiful people. Welcome back to the Seconds Giving series. If you're new to my channel, my name is Segan Mizgina, and all week long, I'm gonna be sharing Thanksgiving recipes. So, so far, we've made cranberry sauce and cornbread. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my mashed potatoes from scratch. So nothing out of the box, nothing powdered, nothing pre-packaged, none of that. It is super easy. And I'm gonna be sharing one of my secret ingredients that really take the mashed potato experience to a whole nother level. So if you're interested to see how I make my mashed potatoes and the secret ingredient, continue watching. But first, you already know, I have to give thanks. I have to give thanks to you guys for subscribing, for clicking that bell notification. So I wanna give a major shout out to the following people right over here. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. It really does mean a lot. If you want a shout out like them, all you have to do is click the notification bell. Let me know that you subscribed in the comment section down below, and I'll give you a shout out on tomorrow's video. All right, so without further ado, let's get started on making some mashed potatoes. So first things first, we're obviously gonna need some potatoes. So grab yourself your headphones, a good podcast, or some music to play in the background because we gotta do a lot of peeling. So I love to peel my potatoes before I boil them. So it's up to you. So if your preference is to boil the potatoes with the skin on and then peel them off after, you can do that too. However, I like to take my potato peeler and just go to town. Make sure I remove all the skin and just keep repeating that process. Now, I cook for a very, very large family, so the amount of potatoes that you make are entirely up to your discretion, but I like to go through almost maybe half a pack with really large potatoes. What you wanna prevent from happening is your potatoes turning brown. So I actually did this pretty quickly. So my potatoes didn't turn brown, but if you are doing multiple things at the same time and you worry that, okay, well, my potatoes might turn brown, a really good tip is to have a container full of water or maybe a mixing bowl full of water and then add the potatoes in there. That way the potatoes won't start browning. So now that we peeled all our potatoes, all that's left to do is wash the potatoes and cut them up. So I wash and cut as I go because again, there were a lot of potatoes that I peeled. So I cut them up and I added them into a very large pot. So I added a ton of water and then I just let the potatoes boil. So after the potatoes have been boiling for a while and it's fork tender, I like to strain the water and then we get into seasoning. This is what really takes it up a notch. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you guys already know I'm obsessed with the garlic press. It saves so much time. My hands don't smell like garlic because I'm not chopping it up. And I feel like the garlic press does all the work for me. So I want to introduce you guys to a potato ricer. Legit a huge garlic press, but for potatoes. So this is what I like to use when I make my mashed potatoes. Now. I will give you guys a heads up, if you're watching this and you don't have this tool, if you guys don't have a potato ricer, don't worry, don't feel like you need to run out and pick it up. A potato masher works just fine and I actually have that as well. So if you have this tool, great. If you have this tool, great. So don't feel like you need to, you know, it won't turn out as nice. The reason why I like to gravitate towards the potato ricer is because I, I personally like my mashed potatoes on the more smoother side than the more lumpier side. So, I mean, I do like a little bit of lumps in my mashed potatoes, but not as much as using the potato masher. <laughs> if you do come across a potato ricer, I would highly recommend it. It's a tool that I feel I'm gonna ha have for years. Um, and I literally only use once a year when I make mashed potatoes. So I think it's a pretty good investment. But to make your mashed potatoes nice and smooth, a potato ricer is the way to go. It's definitely my favorite tool when I'm making mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. So as I'm mashing the potatoes, I like to have some cream and some butter warming up on the side to add in a little later. All right, so now we're at the part where we've riced all of our potatoes, mashed all of our potatoes, and now we're ready for seasoning. So I'm going to season my mashed potatoes with the basics, salt and pepper. But I will caution you, and I've said this on my meal prep videos, I've said this in my other cooking vlogs, freshly ground black pepper is a game changer. I like to get them when they're a peppercorn, and then I like to take my coffee grinder and just take the extra 15, maybe 10 minutes to grind the peppercorns myself. I just feel it really 
elevates the dish. I feel like salt and pepper are the basics when it comes to seasoning, but if you've grinded your own black pepper, you can tell the difference. I mean, maybe I'm in the kitchen way too much, I don't know, but I can tell the difference between freshly ground pepper and the other stuff. Anyway, I'm keeping it basic, keeping it simple with some salt and some pepper. Okay, so I know on camera it does look, okay, wait, second just, second's doing the most when it comes to this cream, it's a little too much. Trust and believe all that starchiness from the potato is going to soak up that goodness of that cream. So don't worry, it's going to work out at the end. Just trust the process. Next, what I'm gonna do once everything is all mixed in, I like to add about a tablespoon of garlic. Now this isn't the secret ingredient. I thought it was, but it's not. It, the secret ingredient is coming. Once the cream is nice and absorbed into the mashed potato, it is time for the secret ingredient. Secret ingredient that I like to do is a dollop of sour cream. I love sour cream. I feel like the minute you add it into the mashed potato, it's like, what? <laughs> I could do that? At first, I was a bit apprehensive. When I first started making Thanksgiving years ago, I was like, okay, well, I'll just keep it basic. I would make it the same way I'm making it now with no sour cream or garlic, but the minute I started adding sour cream and garlic, like I just noticed people would just gravitate towards the mashed potatoes a lot more. If you want to level up the mashed potatoes, add a dollop of sour cream, mix it in, and you're good to go. If you wanna go the optional route, you can add chives, you can add parsley, you can add whatever herbs you like. I personally like to keep it just like that, and I like to garnish it with rosemary. I just I just feel like a stem of rosemary on top of a bowl of mashed potatoes at like your dinner table is just so beautiful. <laughs> I'm very passionate about Thanksgiving, clearly. Anyways, look at how dense that is. I know a few of you guys were thinking, okay, this is going to be potato soup. It's not going to be mashed potatoes. But look at how dense the mashed potato is. It's giving us smooth, it's giving us succulent, it's giving everything we need come seconds giving day. So that wraps up today's video. It's a quick and easy way of how to make mashed potatoes. So far the feedback from posting the cranberry sauce and the cornbread recipe yesterday, I have been receiving a lot of feedback saying that like, wait, this is super easy. This is not as complicated as I thought. I guess maybe that's why I love Thanksgiving because it's super beginner friendly. It might look intimidating at first, but once you kind of break down everything, anybody can do it. So I hope you guys are learning a lot from these quick and easy recipe videos. I've always wanted to do this, so I'm so happy I can finally share it with you guys on YouTube this year. If you guys enjoyed this recipe video, give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys want a shout out, remember, click that notification bell, subscribe to the channel, let me know that you did it, and I'll give you a shout out on tomorrow's video. It's that easy. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.